digital revolution. What is that? What it is, is breast health through breast thermography. Through breast thermography, I'm going to show you how propaganda is literally increasing breast cancer. The use of soy, flax, bioidenticals, red clover, black cohosh is increasing our hormone imbalance and increasing our breast cancer numbers. From 1965 to 1996, breast cancer increased by 171%. From 1996 to 2012, it has still increased by 40%. So, what we need to do is explain to you what is breast thermography. Breast thermography is a painless, no contact, no radiation breast cancer screening. It is not a diagnostic tool, it is screening. Breast health begins at puberty, and with breast thermography, we can get a baseline around the age of 25 after the breasts have fully developed. By the time a woman is 40, 1 in 219 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. So it is important to begin breast screening early in one's life. The most important aspect of breast thermography is that it can screen women who are at risk. These women can then treat their breast health to reverse their underlying condition. This is true early detection. This is what breast thermography is all about and what we are here to explain and to show you. What breast thermography does is it looks at the circulation in our breasts or the blood flow. What we can tell with breast thermography is what is influencing that circulation or that blood flow. What we call that is neoangiogenesis or new blood growth. Now, before everyone runs out and gets breast thermography, you need to understand that there's only a few clinics nationwide that are actually performing breast thermography correctly and meeting the minimum standard requirements. The first thing that's important in breast thermography is that the images are done in what we call reverse gray or black hot. It is only through these images that we can see specific patterns that cancer tends to form. Another important issue to discuss is camera optical line. A camera of 180 or 240 is not high resolution and is not detailed enough for the breast. Many uncertified clinics use this camera because it's cheap. It's around $12,000. You want to look for a clinic that is using a camera of 480 or we use a camera that has 600 optical line. This gives you the most detail and this will determine your risk. So what is neoangiogenesis? Dr. Folkham discovered that tumors formed neoangiogenesis or new blood vessels and that angiogenesis was necessary for neoplasia or abnormal cell growth to move from in situ or inside the duct to an invasive cancer. Now what's interesting is cells that make neoangiogenesis factor are under control of estrogen. Around 80% of all cancers are estrogen driven or fed by estrogen. Estrogen does not cause cancer, it increases or feeds the cancer. So what is important when you look with breast thermography at the black hot images, we can see the stimulation or neoangiogenesis of the blood vessels in the breast. Here's an example of neoangiogenesis. This patient came in with an unusual vascular pattern. It was recommended to this patient to remove all estrogens from her diet and her lifestyle. She came in a year later and as you can see, her bilateral vascular pattern increased. This is evidence of vascularity. The patient returned a year after that with an abnormal mammogram and an abnormal ultrasound. This is neoangiogenesis in the left breast. So let's look at a few examples of black hot or reverse gray images showing stimulation, or increased vascularity, or neoangiogenesis in the breast. The first lady we're showing has a very minimal or non-vascular pattern. Now this is what we consider normal or healthy. She decided to use bioidentical estrogen patch as you can clearly see eight months after the increased neoangiogenesis or vascularity in the breast. Vascularity meaning stimulation of the blood vessels. Let's look at another example. I'm going to show you before and after flax. 
Now if you notice, this lady has again a non-vascular or minimal vascular pattern which we consider normal. Now she has an anatomical structure in the lower left breast. That is okay. In breast thermography, you will notice that many women have very certain particular patterns. Each one of us is different, each one of us is an individual, and you will see this in the breast. Now notice after six months of flax oil use, the increased in vascularity or neoangiogenesis in the breast. Now many doctors believe IUDs, vaginal creams are not systemic. This is absolutely false and with breast thermography we can see how this affects the breast. Again, this lady you can see in the top halves of her breast, she does have some vascularity. This is very normal for menstruating women as we are still affected by estrogen, okay? So you can see after she started using the IUD, the increase in vascularity in her breasts. So I recommended her to remove her IUD and as you can see in the after image, after she removed her IUD for six months, her vascularity has decreased. Okay troops, so that was a really brief explanation on what is certified breast thermography. Again, I'm going to go into that in much greater depth over the next couple videos so you can see what to look for in a certified breast thermography clinic. And again, I only touched on the importance of removing estrogen. This is going to be the true revolution. This is what I really want to show you with our videos is how to decrease estrogen in your life and decrease your risk of breast cancer. Okay troops, with breast thermography, it truly is early detection. We will be going over lifestyle changes to increase your breast health. Remember Remember, prevention is the only sure cure. Thanks troops for watching this educational video on what is breast thermography. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The TT's Revolution, and our Facebook page so that you can be updated on all the latest videos. Please support The TT's Revolution. Please share our videos with your friends and family so that we can arm ourselves with knowledge to win the war against breast cancer. Hey troops, it only takes one to start a revolution. Spread the word. Show your support for breast thermography and breast health with the I Heart TT sticker. Flash your TTs everywhere and then post it on our Facebook page.